Okay, today I'm going to talk about the case one of the group suffix rule. We have two videos before. One is for bad character rule, and the other one is for the case one, case two, and three of the group suffix rule. Today's focus will be on the case one. Here, we compare from the rightmost position and found. The match the chunk, and if this ma match the chunk happens elsewhere in the pattern string, here, and the letter preceding it is different from the letter preceding the match the chunk, then there is case one, and here you can see we have two CD here, and which one should we align with this CD? Mm, the answer is the longest one. We should align this part, and with with align this CD with this CD, this CD. So CD A C D B C A A D B C D. And how do we compute the Increment value of the text pointer previously is here. The skip value is equal to this distance, because we need to compare from the rightmost position each time. So, and uh, this distance can be can can be divided into two parts. First part is here, that is here. This is we can call this part suffix, so it's the length of the suffix. And the second part is here. Is equal to this part. And this part, we can use the length of the pattern, and minus the length. Of this prefix, we can call it prefix. Here, this prefix is the same with this prefix. So plus length of the pattern minus length of the prefix. And the question now is. How do we compute the prefix length? This part. If we know the mismatch index is here, and we want to compute this length, it's pretty hard. So we can think the way the other way around. We can try every possible prefix, and compare the prefix with the pattern. If They have the common suffix. Then we might have case one. So let me explain what is the longest common suffix first. Say we have A D and A C D. The longest common suffix is D. The length is one. We have A D A C D and A D A C D A C D. Then the longest common suffix is A C D. The length is three. We can、uh, we can try every possible prefix of the pattern string.、Uh, pattern string is A C A C D A C D B C D. The longest prefix prefix. The longest prefix is A D A C D A C D E C. You can see the common longest common suffix between these two is zero because D is not equal to C, and we shorten the prefix and still zero, and we shorten again. Now we have C D 
match with this city. The longest common suffix is two. So we found the prefix ness here is eight. And the suffix ness is equal to the common suffix ness that is here. So, mm, mm, mm. let me write it here. The skip value equal to here. The length of suffix, length of suffix is two, and the length of the pattern is eleven. Length of prefix is eight. So the skip value should be five. Okay, let's check whether it is five. Here, one, two, three, four, five. Correct. All right, we shorten our prefix again. Prefix is A, D, A, C, D, A, C. And no, it's zero. We compare it with the pattern string. It's zero and shorten it further still zero and shorten furthermore now we have two but it's the same with the first last time the common suffix length is two but this prefix this length is longer than this this one and this CD is the rightmost CD. So we overlook this case. And we tried the sh another prefix again. This time it's zero and shorten, still zero and shorten. Now we have AD with this pattern string and the common suffix is D here. Common suffix is D. Length is zero. That means if, if this length is greater than zero, that means we have a case one. So this time the prefix length is and the pattern is 11 and the suffix is surface suffix length is equal to the common suffix length is 1 so we should skip 10 let's verify with this example if the prefix length is 2 the longest common suffix is length is 1 and we should align and then the mismatched index should be here so we have we make it mismatch and then we should align this this part to here to make it this d align with this d and so we should shift the pattern this way, A, D, A, C, D, A, C, D, B, C, D. Okay, let's look how many steps do we... Here's text pointer is here, and we should move the text pointer to here, and then Let's count. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten here. Let's look at the Java code I wrote before for this helper function to count the longest common suffix length. Sorry, I made a mistake in in the previous part of, of this video. The longest common suffix between these two 
should be D A C D. The length should be four. The input of this function are two char array, and I just compare from the rightmost position. And if they are match, if they are mismatch, just break and return the number that is zero. And if they are match, I just uh, increment i. It's pretty easy. And let's move to the case one. How to update the skip table in case one? Here. I have an int array as my input because I need to update the skip table based on case 2 and case 3. And I use a set to store all the longest uh, common suffix names. This is because I need to say here we compare with the pattern and the longest common suffix names is 2. But the prefix length in this case is 6. And we have another prefix with the same longest common suffix length. So I overlook it the second time I met it. That's why I use this set. It's kind, it's like a filter. And I, I have a variable last index for my convenience. And the loop starts from the last index minus 1 because I overlook the last index because there is no suffix. And I overlook the first index because the meaningful prefix then starts from 2. So this loop starts from the last index minus 1 and at 1. And why I use minus minus here? That's because I want to filter the longest, the longest prefix. If I loop from the longest the prefix to the shortest the long shortest shortest the prefix then if I met the if uh, the longest if I have a longest common suffix length then I can keep this one and I can overlook when I'm met it second time and the prefix length is i plus 1. That's because here is an example. I My pattern length is 11 and the last index is here. And next, I, my loop starts from here, line. But the prefix I want to copy is this one. So the length is i plus 1. That is this one. I start from this one and I make a I call it prefix and I make a copy of this part and I compute the longest common suffix length of pattern and this just the copied prefix. And if the longest common suffix length is in the set, I overlook, overlook it, just skip. And if the longest common suffix length is greater than zero, means there is case one. And when and then it's not not in my longest Length set. Then I first I add this into my set and then I calculate the mismatched index. The mismatched index 
is the last index minus the longest common surface length. Here is the example. The, the longest common surface length between this one, this prefix, and the pattern is CD. It, the length is 2. So the mismatched index is the uh, last index is 10 minus 2 is here, it's 8. So I need to update my skip table in index 8 here. And the longest common suffix length is my suffix length. Suffix length. And the skip table, the value of the skip table at index, at mismatched index should be patterns length plus suffix length minus the prefix length. That's, That's all for the case one of the good suffix rule. We'll talk about the main function of the Boy-Mall string matching algorithm in the next video. Bye.